Did you become more religious as you got older? No, I was, I was sort of, uh, as a young man, a searching, you know, well, what's, what's it all about? Uh, why are we here? And what are you going to do? How are you going to contribute? If you look at life as an evolutionary process, and, uh, and we have to say that the amoeba was formulated by a mass of tissue and then became a fish and the fish Eventually, uh, became a frog. Became a gorilla. By the way, I got a good gorilla joke. Second wait. I want to hear what all you right. have to say about it. All right, all right. So then you became a gorilla and then, then it became man. You are trespassing way, a on a series of occurrences that if any one little thing went wrong, boo, there's no man. DNA. How could that DNA, how could there be enough DNA? Forget man, a heart. DNA. How could you make a heart that evolutionized in, from one cell? Now the heart pumps 15,000 gallons of blood a day. 15,000 gallons of blood a day. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful pump. It's pumping for 90 years. It's better than any pump man can make. And you're telling me that in that amoeba, there is enough intelligence to eventually, millions and millions of years later, become a human heart. Forget the pancreas, forget the liver. And there are many examples of that in nature. So life though, as we know it, and the human organism as we know it, could never have come about by chance or even evolution. I'm not saying evolution doesn't happen. Uh, uh, people change, the heart may change, we may change, we may go evolution, but there's some design behind it. Hmm. Um, Kofi from Boston would like to know, uh, what were boobs like in the 50s? I guess the same as they are now. There's little ones, there's big ones, there's, there's perky ones, there's, uh, there's uh, you know, all sorts of anatomical variations. It depends what you like. Uh, I have a friend said anything past the mouthful is wasted. 